For the past decade and a half, Nick Saban and the Alabama Crimson Tide have set the gold standard in college football for playing defense. They created an unparalleled legacy of dominance and with the release of College Football 25, I wanted to create a defensive scheme built around Alabama's defensive game plan. We will have a defense loaded with relentless blitz packages to pressure the quarterback and pile up sacks along with sophisticated coverage strategies inspired by Saban's own match coverage heavy defensive schemes. We also break down various formations and setups, ensuring you can adapt to any offensive threat while maintaining the core principles that have propelled Nick Saban to the pinnacle of college coaching and made Alabama the greatest college football dynasty of all time. When Nick Saban took over Alabama in 2007, the Crimson Tide were struggling with mediocrity. He quickly transformed the program, leading them to an SEC championship and a Sugar Bowl in his second season and a national championship by his third. Over the next decade, Alabama claimed five Five more national titles, solidifying one of the most dominant runs in college football history. In the early years, Saban used a 3-4 defense with big linemen and versatile linebackers to dominate the run-heavy offenses of the time. Then as college football evolved with more spread offenses and high-tempo attacks, Saban adapted by shifting to a 4-2-5 nickel package. This allowed for more speed and complex coverage schemes to counter modern offenses. Key to this success was the use of match coverage, blending man and zone principles to confuse quarterbacks. This adaptable defense helped Alabama maintain its dominance and allowed them to effectively handle both power running teams and high octane passing attacks. Under Saban, Alabama's defense consistently ranked among the nation's best. Highlights include leading the nation in points allowed per game in multiple seasons, securing six national championships, and having some historically great defense that are among the best in the history of the sport. Now let's dive into the core principles of Nick Saban's defense and how we can adapt them for our college football 25 scheme. These strategies will help you dominate defensively just like the Crimson Tide did in real life. Now, Saban is the godfather of match defense, employing a variety of match coverages to counter all the different offensive attacks he faced in college. In College Football 25, we're going to be using a heavy match coverage defense to help neutralize deep passing concepts and take away key routes like corner routes attacking the sideline and crossers over the middle of the field. Cover four quarters and cover four palms will be our bread and butter, providing a great way to shut down both the pass while giving us a really good run defense. This off meta style is something most people do not play consistently, so they will not have a great plan on how to attack it. This is going to force them into some mistakes and bad decisions. Then using two high safeties allows us to disguise our coverage pre-snap, keeping the offense guessing. This setup opens up a wide arsenal of coverages while maintaining the ability to defend against both the run and the pass. The offense won't know if we're bringing heat or dropping into coverage because we're going to stay with those two safety looks most of the time and this can lead to confusion sacks and bad balls into coverage and having this flexible defense that could adapt to any situation is something that Saban prided himself during his time with the Tide but we can only keep two safeties high if we have a big athletic front seven that can control the line of scrimmage in our college football 25 scheme we'll build a front seven that stops a run while also allowing us to get pressure in on the QB and by dominating the trenches we can force offenses into predictable passing situations, making it easier for our match coverage to shine. This approach will make it tough for our opponents to establish any offensive rhythm. Then we have blitzing, and this is going to be an essential part of Saban's defensive strategy. This is used to speed up the quarterback and create chaos in the backfield. In College Football 25, we're going to incorporate timely blitzes from various formations to keep the offense on its toes. Whether it's edge heat from our 3-4 looks with our linebackers coming in free, or looping pressure from our nickel package that come screaming in at the quarterback. Our blitzes will be disguised within our two high safety framework most of the time as well. This ensures a higher success rate and maximizes the impact of our pressure package and will help us disguise when they are coming. Then if you want to take your college football game to the next level, you need to check out my website, Scheme Kings. Up right now, I have a 3-4 under mini scheme that will be a great place to start with this Bama defense. It is going to have six setups that include three blitzes that can get you a ton of heat in on the QB and then three coverages that you can throw at your opponent and this is 
is going to be a great way to start with this Bama defense. Then there's going to be a ton more coming up for this Saban scheme that will be only found on the site. Then also on the website, I'm dropping my spread to run offense. So far, we have a breakdown for the Chip Kelly Oregon spread, and we're going to be breaking down the Pat White West Virginia team and the Trevor Lawrence Clemson Tiger for this offense as well. By subbing to the site, you're also going to get access to all my Madden 24 content. Then when Madden 25 drops, you'll receive all that content plus the NCAA stuff for one price. So for the site, you can purchase the yearly membership, which will save you $50 over the course of the year. Then I'm also going to be running my Bama defensive sale on the site. This will run until August 27th. Use Bama 25 at checkout to get 50% off your first month if you do the monthly membership. And if you want to check out the site, I will link it down below. Now, this whole defense is going to be run out of the 3-4 defensive playbook. And if you are playing regs, here are all the teams that will be using this playbook. Or if you're playing cut, you can purchase any of these defensive playbooks. Now, in this section, we're going to be breaking down our main personnel we will use out of our 3-4 formations. And then we're going to break down our personnel for our heavy pass defense. We run out of nickel 3-3 over and nickel 3-3 mint. Now, first, we're going to look at 3-4. And this is something the Tide would use against heavier run offenses to get beef on the field with 3 down linemen and four linebackers and this can shut people down and this is going to be very important for our college football 25 defense when we play more balanced schemes where we're using more running backs and tight ends so we can match personnel and this can give us some really good run defense out of these looks and then we'll also mix in some incredible blitzes that are just going to rip in at the QB. Now, starting up front with our defensive nose tackle, and here we want a space eater who can really stop the run and eat up blocks, but who has the athleticism to get in the backfield and make plays on the QB and running backs. And the Tide over the years have had some of the best interior players in the country, such as Terrence Cody and De'Aaron Payne, who have dominated the trenches and specialized in stopping the run. And Cody specifically was a giant man who is the perfect nose tackle in their 3-4 defense. And for our defense, you want to pick your best run-stopping D tackle for this spot. Then for our 3-4 defensive ends, we want players who are stout against the run and who are super strong at the point of attack, but also have the speed to get in the backfield and can help with our interior pass rush. Alabama's defense has featured stars like Jonathan Allen and Ashawn Robinson, who exemplified this dual threat capability and could be big time game changers. So for our 3-4 D ends, you want to pick your best D end or D tackles who can stop the run, but also have some pass rush skills. Moving into inside linebackers in our 3-4 defense, and these need to be do-it-all players who are athletic enough to blitz and come home at the QB, but then also can cover tight ends and running backs out of the backfield. But they also need to be big enough to blow up the run as well. And Alabama showcased some super dynamic players in this role, such as Rolando McLean and CJ Mosley. These guys were captains of their defense and could play versus any situation that the offense threw their way. Now in this defense, we're going to have two off-ball linebackers and you just want your two best non-passing LBs in these spots. Then looking at our two, three, four outside backers, Alabama has produced some elite pass rushers under Nick Saban in his early years like Courtney Upshaw. These players were tasked with bringing pressure off the edge while also having the ability to sometimes drop out into coverage. In our scheme, we're going to be using speedy and athletic outside linebackers who can blitz effectively and hold their own in coverage. And they're going to be coming free on a ton of blitzes, so they need to be able to get to the QB in a hurry. So for our three, four outside linebackers, pick your two best pass rushers, but make sure they are athletic enough to drop into coverage sometimes also. Now our primary defensive look we are going to be using will be our nickel package. This is going to reflect Alabama's evolution to counter modern spread offenses. This setup includes four down linemen, two linebackers, and five DBs. And this provides a balanced approach to both stop the run and defend against the pass. And this is where we're going to start to get into a ton of our match coverage defensive schemes. In the nickel defense, we're going to prioritize pass rush from our defensive tackles. And we want players who consistently get in the backfield and make plays and Alabama has had dominant interior pass rushers like Quinnen Williams and Jonathan Allen who were complete game wreckers during their time in Tuscaloosa and at these two spots in our nickel package you want your two best pass rushing D tackles. For our nickel defensive ends we want players who can rush the passer effectively while also stopping the run. Alabama has had some great edge players 
like Will Anderson, who during his time at Alabama was one of the most electric defensive players in the country, dominating on the edge for Bama. So for our two DN spots, pick your two best outside pass rushers that are on your team, whether they are defensive ends or outside linebackers. In our nickel package, we're going to utilize versatile linebackers who can cover on the back end, have the speed to be used on the blitz, and can get to the QB. And these players are going to be our users quite often in this defense, so they need to have the speed to patrol the back end when we are using them. Tied have had excellent nickel backers in the latter half of Saban's tenure, such as Rashawn Evans and Dylan Moses, who are known for their athleticism and ability to cover ground. So for our two nickel backer spots, you want to pick your two best off-ball linebackers on your team. The star or nickel back in Saban's defense is a versatile and crucial position. This hybrid player must cover slot receivers, support the run, and in our defense, we're going to be blitzing him a ton, so he needs to have the speed to get to the QB in a hurry. Minka Fitzpatrick and Javier arenas excelled in this role combining coverage skills tackling ability and football intelligence fitzpatrick's seamless transitions between roles and arenas quickness and blitzing prowess were game changers for the bama defensive scheme so for our nickel spot make sure you have someone with really good coverage skills and speed safeties in our Saban defense are expected to be versatile and athletic they need to cover deep support the run and make plays all over the field players like landon collins and ha ha clinton dicks have set the standard collins ability to play multiple positions in the secondary and bring a ton of physicality to the spot and Clinton Dick's range and ball skills were crucial to Alabama's defensive success. So for both our nickel and 3-4, you want to target players who are do-it-all safeties. Alabama's corners are typically big athletic and physical, capable of matching up with the best receivers in the country. Players like Marlon Humphreys and Patrick Sertan exemplified this role. Humphreys' physicality and Sertan's technique and intelligence made them stand out corners and our guys guys are going to be used a ton in match coverage so they need to be athletic enough to run with wideouts deep down the field and I like size for them for them to be able to go make plays on the ball so pick your two best corners for your outside corner spot now this defense will be amazing once it is all out don't forget I have my 3-4 under defensive mini scheme live on scheme kings right now so you can get a head start on this Saban defense but then to add to this if you want to start playing like the Chip Kelly Oregon Ducks in college football 25 then you need to check out my breakdown of their offense right here. 